So for somebody to want to invest 250 million to buy Nigeria, basically, can you then imagine how much profit he's expecting to make from the capital he invested in this transaction? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So in this video, I want to share this with you guys. Uh, something that one of our brothers posted on Facebook. If you're coming across this and you don't know what I'm talking about, the president-elect, right? I use that quotation mark because, you know, some people call it select, some people call it elect. So there's still Nigerian election, that just a uh, presidential election that just concluded recently. Um, people are saying it's rigged. People are saying so much fraudulent activity going on and all of that. As far as we know, it's still being taken to the court and all of that. So... If I say Tunubu, Tunubu is the president-elect, right? And then the um, um, CJN, the chief justice of Nigeria, right? So apparently there's so much going on and they're accusing him, is an allegation, that him and the president-elect are planning to meet in London. Let me read you guys what one of our brothers posted on Facebook. This is the chief justice of Nigeria, CJN Justice Olukayode Ariwola who disguised on wheelchair in london is reportedly concluding a negotiation for 250 million dollar bribe for supreme court justice to give favorable judgment to bola tunubu who is the gov uh, president elect right um who is jittering of losing at the court of appeals okay i hope i'm making sense now and i was like ah, which one is he posted another one and said tunubu is in france now because the Tunubu's camp came out and said he's not even in London, he's in France. So people are not saying that actually he's heading to London. From London, he's going to Mecca. Okay? But this other brother posted and said, Tunubu is in France now, resting, but will go to London and then to Mecca. APC denies their drug baron. <laughs> uh, met with the rogue CJN Ariwola. You hear that? I read this other one with you guys for exclusive. There you say CJN Ariwala disguises on wheelchair in London hotel for secret meeting with Bola Tinubu. Now there's one aspect, you know, you know, allegation, accusation, suspected. Let's put it like that at the moment because that's what it is at the moment. But for those that may not understand the implication or what this means, if it is true, what it means, it basically means that Nigeria has been pushed up for sale. Is buying and selling if it's true I'm not saying it's true because nobody knows if it's true nobody has seen this meeting happening you know but at the same time part of my mind is saying ah, there's no what are they talking how do you talk again now there's no smoke without fire so we may be wrong or so this story may be wrong or it may be right it may be incorrect it may be correct but if it is correct if it is correct if it is correct it means that nigeria nigeria as a country is on sale it means that they are buying and selling nigeria it means that if it is true the chief justice is about to cash out cash out on our heads it means that you did you hear the amount let me see the amount again because maybe i know see how well 250 million dollars not naira uh -uh. no dollars and if you don't know tunibu has been accused for the longest time of having a what's that thing called again now you know that vehicle that carries, uh, that van that carries money. That's how they say he carries his own money. If you don't know, I'm just saying because I know some outsiders, non-Nigerians watch us. Or you're Nigerian, you have not been in Nigeria for a long time, you may not know these tiny little details. You know, Tinubu is a former governor of Lagos State. And he's the, he's said to be the owner of Tollgate. So if this story is true, it means that... <laughs> uh, Nigeria has entered one chance. Oh. We've always known that in you know, our story. You see, you know, we're talking about the talking about the poverty of the poor is caused by a lot of the rich people. The reason why Nigeria is where it is today is because there's so much buying and selling among some some people. 
because there's so much oh it's sad it's sad that the whole country if it is true a whole country will be handed over to somebody by two people sit in a room and have a meeting if it is true you know, let me let me put it this way right i think let me let me put it this way if it is true it means that all these millions that came out to vote to decide who they want to be the next president was basically a waste of time because at the end of the day it took two people sitting in a room to select i can use that word if it is true to select who the next president would be if it is true it reconfirms what a lot of Nigerians have always believed that uh, our country, you know, they are our hands. Our country is not in our hands. It's in the hands of the highest bidder. If it is true, let me keep using it. If it is true, it means that the poverty of Nigeria, <laughs> the end of it is not uh, anywhere near at all. If it is true. If it is true, it tells you oh my goodness if it is true please guys let me keep using that word right if it is true and somebody is paying 280 abi let me be checking it that money too big that's why i'm double checking to be sure i'm reading it well 250 million dollars if somebody <laughs> sorry if you can't laugh you if you can't cry you laugh if it is true if it is true it means somebody is buying the country for 250 million dollars and if somebody bought a country for $250 million, um, can you imagine the amount of profit he's expected to make from his capital he invested? <laughs> oh, mm. if, because it's investment, if it is true. That, if it is true, that is a massive investment. So for somebody to want to invest $250 million to buy Nigeria, basically, can you dare imagine how much profit he's expecting to make from the capital he invested in this transaction? If it is true. If it is true, $250 million. Imagine the poverty in Nigeria. Imagine, imagine the, 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 the suffering of the people. Imagine $250 million. How many, how many, what is our statistics again, sir? You know, rich to give everybody one, one million dollar. If they ever give every, the poor people in Nigeria only one, one million naira, you go still at least, at least, can you imagine the life changing ability these people have if it is true? People are saying, oh, this man is not disabled. Why is he working, using a wheelchair? Why is he using a <laughs> Why is he using a wheelchair? Let me say, I know sometimes the elderly can request and say, yeah, I can walk, but I can't walk long distance, you know, whatever. So they use uh, uh, the wheelchair, uh, what's it called now? They use the uh, wheelchair and there was that. There's another term for it. It's like, um, there's a word for it anyway. They, they use those services in the airport to make sure that, to make life easier for them because of age or because of uh, disability or whatever it is. So let's even leave that side. Whether I enter wheelchair, you know, enter wheelchair, you know, affect you and I. It does not affect the price of Gary. So let's even leave that one. But the other one that they said, this man is holding about eight passports, I mean five passports in his hand. If he was holding Nigerian passport, American passport, Ghana passport, well, it was okay, maybe he's a citizen of all these countries. So he's holding on, oh, he's holding on to all his passports. But if one person is holding on to so many Nigerian passports, how many passports does one person need? I don't understand. Even if he's traveling with his aides, you know, his assistants or whatever, they cannot hold on to their own passports individually. Of course they can. So why is he holding on to all this? Where did they see that kind of thing? Where did they see that kind of thing? That is holding on to uh, be able to style for eight passports in one in his own hand. Let me just go back to the point I wanted to make. If this story is true, I don't want to say it's a sad day in Nigeria because we've had a lot of sad days. It's another sad day in Nigeria. 
because you see it has gotten so bad in nigeria that the rich do not care you know there's this belief that you know when people have money they can buy anybody every any and everybody my people i'll use the word again if it is true if it is true ah uh, do you know why i feel sorry for the most the poor people the poorest of the poor in that country there's no end in sight oh. there's no end in sight because if it is true the people at the top do not care about the poor they do not care about the what they call it the masses they do not care about that country called nigeria why would they care there's another video i made i never even edited it to upload it in that video simi was talking about the politicians whatever i said why would they care their children school abroad their children live abroad they themselves go for the best health care abroad why would they bother nigeria for i made another video which i said that nigeria is only their milking ground a lot of people at the top politicians the only connection they still have with Nigeria is that it is their milking ground. But education for their children, the best healthcare, houses, everything they have abroad. Oh, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. And let me put it again. If it is true, this whole story, if it is true, is another sad day in Nigeria. If it is true. <laughs> As always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.